Hi again everyone, we're in the King's Antechamber now. This room is pen paintings. We went to war with the Dutch at this era and uh, we attacked them, they attacked us. And that's the way it were. Lighting's pretty good in this room because they are pen paintings and they need to be kept dark. Let's get a picture of that and I already showed you. Yeah, these I really do like. Because a lot of them were done on board ships and stuff like that by artists and it's by doing this that we got the early foundations of war correspondence believe it or not going out to battles and painting things like that and then when newspapers took off people didn't just want the images they wanted to hear about the battle how it went and things like that This is one of the secret door, well not a secret door, but it's disguised well in the panelling and you can't go in there. Unless you work here. Ship's figurehead, that is. And a very fine piece it is, too. And we're off into the next room now, and this is another one of my favourite rooms because of the clock, as you know, I like clocks. And this is the King's bedchamber. Hmm. Big naval officers of the 18th century. They were painted by leading artists of the period. Joshua Reynolds, George Romney. Pause to read or screenshot. Vice Admiral Sir Hyde Parker is the gentleman at the top. And Admiral Sir Charles Saunders is the one we've just looked at here. It's pretty unmistakable who the gentleman with the bust is. is Vice Admiral Horatio Nelson. 
and those two portraits we looked at above. That one, and that one. And then the description for these two gentlemen. I shall take you to now. Vice Admiral John Bing and Captain George Edgecombe. Captain the Honourable Augustus Keppel by Joshua Reynolds. When you see that picture, it will not have the fire escape thing in it because due to the delights of modern technology, I can use the magic eraser and get rid. Which is most cordial unto me. Ah, excellent. The large portrait is the description we've just looked at. The two descriptions yeah, and for these two gentlemen there and there. Admiral Clark Gayton, who is the one at the top, and Admiral George Bridges Rodney, first Baron Rodney. famous names in, in here and this clock is one of my favorite items I absolutely love this I'll get a picture of it well, have a closer look Sidriel and Solar Long Case Clock by Daniel Queer. Very famous makers, Daniel Queer. This unusual clock was commissioned for the council room in the Royal Hospital for Seamen at Greenwich. It has two pendulum movements. The left dial marks the sidereal time based on movement of the stars for astronomers, and the right dial marks solar time, time of the day. For those more earthbound, both times were crucial for naval officers' navigation, navigating the ocean as well, I should say. And the Greenwich Time Ball, which we can just about make out from the screen there, but up on the hill there is the Greenwich Observatory, and the Time Ball rises up, and I don't know if it still does it, I think it still does, but in the old days it dropped at a certain time every day and that let the ships out and the Thames know the exact time. Description for these and then we'll finish this one. Sir Joshua Reynolds one, which is very impressive. Alright, join me all in the next one, guys and girls.